Hello everyone, how are you? Carl Woods here in the woods and I'm looking for a nice place to do an overnighter and uh, somewhere here I can uh, somewhere here I can find a good spot so that's what I'm gonna do and um, find I'm going to look for a flat surface put in my tarp and um, well collect firewood and making food make my, my make up my uh, my camp just to do a, an overnighter so join me in the overnighter I think I found a nice flat spot for tonight it's under some trees so nice protection and uh, it is almost flat, but I think that's okay. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna set up here and enjoy the lovely view because is that beautiful or is that beautiful? Perfect, make a little fire, have a nice view gonna be great. Yeah. I'm not very far into the forest or anything, it's just a nice spot. So Sometimes there are people walking by. You can hear a car in the background sometimes, so it's not totally off grid or what, but it's uh, one of the things you can do in Sweden. Elements red and sleep wherever you want for 24 hours, but you cannot disturb anyone. So, not near a house or whatever. And you have to clean everything don't destroy they predicted some rain in this this night at the end of the night so I need a tarp anyway and my tarp. I brought a very old Gore-Tex beefy, beefy bag. I don't think I need it, but just to be sure. I'm gonna put my top between those trees, those two, and just to the back. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Two on the inside, one on the outside. And then you can adjust it very easily.
And maybe you hear a big machines working. As I said, I'm not very far into the forest, but it's a nice place. That's most important. That's one side. Always having a bunch of rope at the end of my tarp. Very easy. Otherwise you have to attach the rope and then so on so on. It's much easier. Show you the knot. Oh, come here. Some steaks. Making some steaks. Under the top, I'm going to sleep. But I have a lot of space left. So tune it a little bit and then it's better. This is the Gore Tex beefy bag. Good. I use this just to hold off all the moist and uh, maybe if it's raining in the night I can switch or put this around my sleeping bag. But um, Ordex is waterproof, it's, bre it's breathable but it is not as breathable as your sleeping bag is. Otherwise it will get really you know humid moisturizing all your sleeping bag that's not good. Sleeping my sleeping mattress Has a nice cover. I'm looking for that. Yes. It's 
nice cover of my mattress and it gives you just that extra insulation it's lightweight anyway so I can bring that you ever seen this? I think I will slide down tonight. Nah. Look at that little fire pit here. Would be great. Oh, my nice sleeping pad, uh, sitting pad. Dude. So. Shelter done. Now, next step for me is uh, collecting firewood. A lot. I don't need fire at night because my sleeping bag should be sufficient enough. It's up to minus one and tonight is going to be plus four so I should be safe. And maybe I'm gonna make a fire reflector just where the camera is right now. Well yeah. Because there is a, a bunch of wood here, so I should have enough. <laughs> a little bit of wind coming from that way, so that's not very positive because the smoke will come my way. But when I build it, when I was here, it was coming from there, so the smoke should be going through that way. But it's turning a little bit, so I hope it will not get any stronger. But um, yeah, it's actually the first overnighter here in Sweden, so very cool, very excited. And uh, I'm not at my bushcraft camp for the overnighter because that's close to a um close to a hunting area, area where there is a lot of hunting activities and to do there my first overnighter, yeah, this is a much safer place, it's near, it's near houses, so almost near ha some houses, so I don't expect here that they're gonna be hunting all animals, some bright colors. Uh, orange shit seating flap. Oh, it's you can feel the heat coming off that seat. Didn't expect that at all because it was very cheap. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. I'm gonna grab my saw. Looking for some decent wood to build a fire reflector. Starting a fire and then uh, cooking. 
getting some wood. That's the first one. Uh, the battery went down, so but I got a bunch of extra wood now, and uh, it's getting hot when you're collecting firewood, so uh, that's good. I can take off some layers and uh, continue to look for some wood. That's a big one. Most of this wood is pretty rotten, so that's well, rotten. It's not that dry, but it's perfect for a reflector, so it won't catch fire as fast as dry firewood. So um, it's perfect. Now. Let's get in some steaks. This is a perfect steak. Just deciding where my reflector is coming. I guess here. So where I'm sitting is my fire. Should it be? Yeah. Should be okay. going I got three poles in. One, two, and three. So, need one pole here.
Yep, it's all rotten. Let's have a seat. Perfect. Good. This is an angry bird. Nice. Okay. I already have some pieces of firewood. I have little twigs. I have some birch. Uh, all I need is some more, and then we can start to make a fire. Yeah, this seating flap is an excellent thing I bought this week. Excellent thing. sitting one two minutes on it and you can really really feel a, a warm arch you know <laughs> and that's good instead of a, a wet arch now I understand why all those bushcrafters are carrying one because it's an it's an extra bit of comfort, but it's only, well, it's very light, so 30 grams, 40 grams, maybe? I don't know, not more. I found a dead standing tree. So I had a cut and now and dead standing is always dry so that's good. Always. Mostly it's dry. So I think I should have enough now. Let's show you the view when I was sawing. Pretty awesome, eh?
that should do the trick. Docker, fire is on, but I'm doubting a little bit if I have enough firewood for the whole night or for the whole evening because I have some hours to go. <laughs> and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of wood, seven pieces of wood. I'm not sure if I can. the whole night with it. So I think here it's dark but it's okay to scavenge for some more firewood. It's um, almost five o'clock beginning of November so the food can wait. But I need some extra firewood, so or I'm gonna look for a dead tree or just scavenge for some more but all the wood that's lying on the ground is is rotten. So I cannot use that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if I'm back I will I should put up a light and then uh, going to cook. Cook. But I'm feeling the heat of the reflector, so that's good. smoke coming off from the fire and I've processed the last piece of firewood I have now also for some for tomorrow uh, what I'm gonna do now is let the fire die down a bit so I have more embers and coals so I can cook on them and then uh, start up the fire for the rest of the evening but it's already a good uh, good base of embers on the bottom so that's good and um, relax because now I think I have enough for tonight and otherwise I'll just go in earlier we'll see we'll see okay I hope I'm a little bit visible I would try to keep the light out of the lens but um, I got good news and bad news. Good news is I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to cook. The bad news is I lost my knife, my green knife, somewhere. I think I just brought my eggs with me and put it into my belt, and I think it snapped back then. So I have to look tomorrow morning for. For, um, for my knife. So that's a pity, it was a good knife. I hope I can find it tomorrow. It would be a shame if I didn't find it. But on the menu, tomato, um, potato, potatoes. And I'm gonna bake them, I guess. Yeah, or cook them, I'm not sure right. what I want to do. Uh, I think bake, it's easier. 
Smoky, smoky. So, I'm just preparing everything with another knife. That's okay. And this one I'm keeping. And I got some carrots, a little onion for the hamburger, and I got two burgers with me. Pity I lost my knife, man. Oh. I hate that. It. It's gonna be on the fire. Dinner is ready. Look at my spork. That's one. That's good. Let's bring it into your screen. Fire we should also put on again because it's getting colder now. You can feel that when the fire is not that on anymore. So let's put it back on. Eat and pray first. So I'm gonna enjoy, and hopefully, the fire will get back on soon. Dinner is in my stomach right now. A raw meal, so that's good. The fire is back on again. And uh, yeah, the fire was died down a little bit because because I needed that for the cooking, but the heat was not anymore. I get no heat from the fire, so I have to pull up some of my extra logs again and hopefully. Will give me some heat. I made myself some coffee. I was changing batteries and 
changing memory cards. But I'm gonna show you. Here is my coffee. It's cowboy coffee. Warm drink. What do you want more? A big fire. But coffee's good. I've also got some um, walnuts and beech nuts, so I'm gonna chill, relax, and. Uh, the beech nuts I forced myself, so that's very nice. I'm very curious how my sleeping bag will hold. I bought a new one, and it should be okay till minus one. And uh, minus six if you are if you're having some uh, extra clothes with you. So, I guess that should be enough because it should be only 4 degrees. So, um, I'm very curious if the, if I have a uh, good night. I think so. It's a good, decent sleeping bag, so... Yeah. Well... Well, I'm gonna relax and... Um, if there's something happens of something to tell you, I'm gonna be back. Otherwise, maybe see you tomorrow. It's uh, at the end of the evening now. I'm going to make myself ready to go to bed. And uh, I have one uh, piece of log left. So that's a pretty good pretty good measure how much wood I need, I wasn't sure. So I got one piece left, and I think that's good. So I'm keeping that for tomorrow. And uh, the fire is still still going. I'll show you, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna make myself ready. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a nice sleep. Where'd it go? Oof. Yeah. Pretty good. Sleeping bag is very good. Holds me up. Holds me good. Holds me warm. Yeah. Slept decent. So it was good. Now I'm gonna try to make a fire again, make some coffee and go home and looking for my knife so that's the plan excellent sleeping back, very happy with it Look what I found! My knife! Very happy with it. Oh man. I lost it yesterday. And it's when I noticed it, noticed it, it was already getting darker. So yeah. You cannot look. 
in the darkness that's not an option so I waited for this morning started the fire and uh, boiling some water now and uh, the Gore-Tex BV first was under my mattress but the mattress will slide down every time so I removed it yesterday evening and just put it on the top for protection of the wind or if it if it should get raining in the night it did rain a bit but my tarp was sufficient enough to stay dry so yeah found it woohoo now coffee and uh, clean everything up yesterday it was cowboy coffee this morning we're gonna make some real coffee with a filter just filter coffee you've seen this before in other videos overnighter with ties overnight with turn art car camping yeah it's very easy just put some coffee in it boiling water and coffee so that's excellent a bit smoky Recyclable bags. So. You can hear the water is almost boiling. So that's good. That's good. Oh, I'm so happy I found my knife. It's just a knife, but you know. This is the knife, a carving knife, but that's not as convenient, so I'm very happy I found a little green boy. And it's, you can, it's, it's small, so you can take it everywhere. And uh, use it for whatever you have to use it. Otherwise you will, I have a multi-tool as well, but that's more, that's heavier. best things in life cup of coffee in Sweden in Sweden they will say maybe fika depends if there's a cookie in it cookie with it if they have time to enjoy the good moments of life with a cup of coffee and a sandwich or a biscuit then it's called a fika It's a fika with me. Fika for me anyway. I 
have some eggs with me, so... I think I just do it. My food bag. What proof bag, but now it's a food bag. Here are my eggs. They're not broken. Oil. And some paper to clean my pan directly after it. After the egg's done. Or I'll put, put an oil back. I don't know why I put it in a plastic bag, but. I just save this for every time I'm going out, so this is my oil bag or whatever. I think it's done. Served. Well, as I said, I'm uh, very happy with the sleeping bag because it kept me warm all night, even in the morning when I was when it was already light and you know mostly then you think mm, it's getting a little bit cold, so I'm going out on my sleeping bag. But no, not at all, and I'm. I'm not the type of the type of guy that just can sleep everywhere with just a blanket or something. I need a, a good sleeping bag for insulation. Otherwise, it's getting pretty cold then for me. So, good insulation that's important for me. And sleeping bag did the job, so I'm very happy. Very happy. And the mattress, of course, also, but I had it a longer time, so that's okay. I know that's it, that is a good one. I even have a um, 
extra layer of foam at home now but you can add that too between the oh, can you see my sleeping no, not, not really. I have a cover and under that cover you can put that extra foam layer on top of your mattress and then the R value is around four and a half five now it's three or something so that's three is good for now Maybe, maybe with the winter overnighter, I will add a foam layer. Well, it's part of the mattress I bought. But uh, then it should be war even warmer. But first overnighter in Sweden. Great. It was yesterday. It was around 4:30. It was already getting dark, and at five o'clock it was dark. Yeah, suddenly. So that's the point where you should should have all your firewood for the whole night, and then you can. Because if you're going out in the evening, you cannot find any good piece anymore. Well, I don't. I can't. <clears throat> so when I was ready at six thirty, seven with my with eating, and then I was like, okay, and now. But you know, getting up the fire. Stoke it up, add, add a piece of wood. Well, I have to say, in my sleeping bag, I had uh, a base layer, base layer on upper body and my legs of course and uh, and if you have if you are bu buying a sleeping bag we will say comfort temperature and uh, minimum temperature and extreme or limit maybe comfort limit and extreme and mostly that's tested it's a standard test for it. It's EN blah blah blah. I don't know. But that test is done with people or dolls maybe, I don't know. Who's wearing who are wearing a base layer. So that's the temperature you get. So if you going only with your with your underpants in your sleeping bag and you say, Hey it's cold and it's not saying that the right temperature it's because it tested with with um with a base layer, full base layer. And comfort is mostly the women, and the limit temperature is mostly the men. And extreme, it's a theoretical temperature. You have to snug it all yourself up, make yourself very tiny, and then you won't freeze to death, literally. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. This was uh, the overnighter, and uh, hope you like the video. I hope you can see the things from yesterday evening when it was darker. But um, yeah, the first overnighter in Sweden. I loved it. It was great. With a nice view on the lake, and a um, little uh, fire reflector. Gathering some firewood. I was hoping there was enough, but I still have one piece left, so that's good. So, estimate firewood was okay. 
so thanks for watching I'm gonna clean up and leave everything so no one knows I've ever been here tear down the fire effector of course and um, see you next time thanks for watching cool boots <laughs>